He took the finish off the guitar and he took the neck pickup out. That basically describes what it is that Malcolm does. Joshua Ray Gooch here, and we're gonna be talking about Malcolm Young's rhythm guitar styles, one of the greatest guitar players for rhythm in all of rock history. ACDC is a band that's been around for a very long time, and their sound has remained pretty close to the way it was on their early records, which you can't really say about most bands, and with ACDC, somehow it works. You don't want them to expand too much because what they do is so pared down and they bring things to the absolute essentials of what rock and roll is. Influenced by early rock and roll, Chuck Berry, Bo Diddley, Little Richard, The Beatles and The Stones. They just played it at a much louder volume than really any of these other groups ever did. Now, Malcolm played a Gretsch Jet and he took the neck pickup out. It was just the bridge pickup. And I think that this is actually a very apt point. No pedals, right into the amp, bridge pickup, and that's it. And everything else came from Malcolm's hands. He was the heart of the rhythm of the band. All right, let's take a look at exercise one. So basically the verse idea is that you're pedaling on A. So A is in the bass the whole time. I'm gonna move to D and G, these kind of interesting, very ACDC-esque shapes. So in between each of these chords, it's I'm not playing or it's always the open A in between the accents of these other chords. So uh, to, uh, to, uh, to, uh, to, uh, uh. So here's the riff played slow. One, two, three, four. So what I'm doing is playing these chord shapes like A. Those three notes, root, fifth, root. So, then to the A. Then I play this three note chord. I play root, fifth root of D. But I go right back to playing that A pedal. So, so far we have this. Then we play this G chord. Now it's not gonna look like a shape you're used to, but these are the notes we're playing. So we have the open D and G strings. And then we have the D note here and the G note on top. So we have this chord. It's basically this G, except we're not playing the low G and, and involving the A string in any way. And you'll notice we're not playing any thirds. When you're playing at this tempo and playing rock and roll like this, a third is unnecessary. It's gonna make things sound muddy. So we basically keep this roots and fifths, which keeps everything in a finite space. It doesn't over clutter or muddy things up. And this is very common to ACDC's music. They only add a third when it's absolutely necessary pare it down until you need to add little elements when you need to add them. And as you're playing this, make sure you're trying to keep that steady A in the bass as steady as you can. So practice this to a metronome and just practice it over and over again. Just sit there, sit there for 10 minutes and just go. Think about ACDC or any of this style of music like a moving train. It cannot feel like anything can stop it. It has to feel like this, the momentum is just rolling down a hill and there's nothing that can get in its way. And you have to make even your solo guitar playing by yourself feel that way if you wanna have that feeling when you get to playing with a band. What I'm doing here is playing more of these root fifth root chords. So with the A, once again, root fifth root. There's no third. 
that's not the right sound for this. It's not aggressive enough. Then we move to the G chord and we're playing this. So once again, I'm muting the A string. There's nothing happening on the A. And we're playing root, fifth, root, fifth. So once again, just roots and fifths. Then we move to the D chord, same thing. There's no third, it's not this. The one other thing I wanna mention before we get to the back half of the chorus is the simplicity here. Think about what's happening here. So we go one, two, three, four, A, G. And then it's a push into the D chord. And there's no extra stuff happening there. It's just pushing the rhythm. All down strokes. Simple. Here's an example of what would be too much. That's not it. Listen to the difference. Two, three, four. So pare it down. What are the essential elements? That's it. That's the ACDC method. Here we go to the end of the chorus. Instead of playing this as an E major chord, which would work. To me, that's too happy though. What they end up doing is this very ACDC version of an E chord, which is this. Once again, roots and fifths. I'm actually muting the G string with the other side of my ring finger. So it ends up being like this. It looks like an E minor chord, but no, that's not what I'm playing. So root, fifth, root, fifth, root. So it goes. And if ACDC were doing that together, if this was Angus and Malcolm, my guess is one of them would play this. Because they want him to sound different. They want him to have different ways of ringing out. So I would guess that one of them, probably Malcolm, would end up playing this. And Angus would play. All right? Then there's a walk up here. It's a single note walk up on the low E. And when you get to the G, once again, just roots and fifths. And the only strums I've got going on there are on those accents. Uh, uh, uh. Da, da, uh, uh, uh. That's it. Nothing else. So. It's basically the Chuck Berry idea. He's basically playing this in reverse. So instead of going, he's going, right? But we're doing it in the open position because unlike Chuck Berry, they're not worried about the ringing of the open string. They're not playing the same way that Chuck is in this closed position. So the open A actually brings some life. It sounds a little dead if you play it here. I think it's a lot cooler hearing the rattle of the A string. It's a little bit more unruly in rock and roll in the ACDC way. So basically we're starting out, I would just consider that A. The melody on top is all functioning within that sort of bluesy dominant flat seven, flat six, fifth. But to me that's A. And if you're soloing over that, I'm just thinking A also, I'm thinking Chuck Berry. And that's why Angus plays a lot of that. The second part is involving this chord that a lot of you probably already associate with ACDC if you learn any of these classic rock licks. So now we're going G, this root fifth version. Then we're going here. Now I'm playing it with my thumb. Malcolm might play it like this. I don't actually know which way he particularly played this chord, but I like to play it with my thumb. So I go G to D over F sharp. So the third of the chord, F sharp, is in the bass. So once again, no third on top. We do have a third in there now, but it's in our base. It's in our root. We're not going. 
that's not there. We're still ending with the root on top. And we just go back and forth. That same rhythm that we did on the A, but now we're oscillating between these two chords. And once again, only down strokes. There's no, no up strokes allowed. This is all down throughout the entire, really the entire song, all three of these exercises is all down strokes. There's really no need for an upstroke at any point. All right, here we are at the jam. I'm gonna actually start out with the verse and then I'm gonna give it to you halfway through the verse and we're gonna keep playing throughout the song and I'll hand it back and forth, but just be ready at a moment's notice. All right, here we go. I'm gonna take the chorus here. Your turn. Let's play the turnaround together. Got it. All right, here we go. I'm going to take it. Your turn. Play the turnaround together again. Here we go. You play the rhythm, I'm gonna solo. Take the turn around, you got it. All right, thanks for being with me to talk about ACDC's rhythm playing. We focused on Malcolm, but really we wanted to encapsulate that classic rock and roll vibe that they bring to the table. I think we talked about a lot of the techniques that ACDC utilizes to make them so refined and so pared down to the essentials. And I hope that you take those things and apply them to your own music and your own understanding of the guitar and music as a whole. Are you looking for a structured way to learn rock guitar? Hey, I'm Joshua Ray Gooch, and welcome to the Rock Learning Pathway at Pickup Music. This program is the most structured way to learn rock guitar. You'll be able to play must-know riffs and licks. You'll know how to craft your tone across various rock genres. And you can think of this as a bit of a history course, where we will discuss the family tree of rock and make connections from decade to decade. This learning pathway has six grades. Each grade has daily lessons with play-along exercises, performances where we have some awesome backing tracks for you to jam along with. And here, you'll have an opportunity to upload a video of yourself for 
personalized feedback. If you really commit to the daily lessons and apply the techniques that I show you, I promise that you will see incredible progress and develop a solid foundation in rock guitar. Get your membership at pickupmusic.com. Let's get started.